like I said, you've been doing good. You've been sowing such good seeds. Um, you've been blessing people, healing people, showing people the way. Um, trying to get people from the darkness, trying to get people to repent, trying to get people to uh, wash their sins away, to uh, be born again, to ask God to repent. And you're praying over people, you know. If you're doing those things and shit like that, and it's consistently, consistently, of course, you're going to be blessed. Yes, you're still going to be an enemy, but you're going to be less of a target because you got the most high God. You ask for his protection. And his angels working things out for the greater good. Not saying that you ain't nothing touching. You won't go through shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because us spiritual people go through a lot of shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's a never ending battle. All right. We got chronic disease. Chronic diseases. Okay. We got. Always hungry, hormones, sick, autoimmune disease, okay, and weakening everyone. <clears throat> so I'm getting the energy of these demons that people have attached to them will eventually cause them to become even more ill or more sick because they don't want to be heal from it. They don't want to repent. People are content. People are setting their ways is what I'm picking up on at the present time. Okay. And even with all this lust, greed, and things of that nature, these evil spirits attached to them, basically demons. Um, these demons are causing people chronic diseases, diseases that they can't get rid of. Like, um, you can't move like you do can't cook like you. you can't dance like you you can't shop like you like the things that people once were able to do you know what i'm saying they're starting to deteriorate because these things are taking a toll all these spirits that sent up satan to kill steal and destroy it will cause you to be ill over time because you're not changing anything. You're sitting there all day doing the same stuff over and over and over again. Torturing yourself, torturing your body. Your body is a temple. Not a lot of things go in it. Not a lot of things go over it. Not a lot of people can touch you. Like, right now it's just time to protect you from all evil. Is the energy I'm channeling. Okay, so heal first. Let let release these demons, these evil spirits. Ask God to continue to pray over you, okay? To protect you, to heal you, to give you courage. You feel what I'm saying? Confidence. You feel me? Like, only thing you can do is pray. The only thing that can release any demon off you, any witchcraft, any spell word, fortune, witches, warlocks, and shit like that, prayer is the only thing that'll move mountains, move people fucking heal people you feel what i'm saying the you got to be a powerful person to be able to touch somebody and release a demon from them, or touch somebody and heal them if they're sick you feel what i'm saying touch them to release a demon like addictions like come on now that's some powerful shit and people really still don't believe you got people impersonating the most high god artists is in the industry playing on the cross playing jesus cross ain't shit funny ain't shit funny about this beyonce on the white horse and the horses and shit ain't shit funny about this. none of this shit is funny people are impersonating the most high making a mockery out of the most high false prophets gonna be continue to get exposed everybody wants to be god mock god but don't nobody want to fucking do the fucking work that's what's funny to me it's funny people holler god play his name and you can holler god's voice all the fuck you want that don't mean he gonna he gonna help you okay you didn't know his name you couldn't distinguish his voice you never rejoice. You never, you know, holler God. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up on. So be careful of false prophets leading you to hell. Okay, the motherfuckers who take your money. 
who all in your personal life. I've never understood those preachers that will call you day to day, day to day. You telling them all your business, all your drama. That's no, that is not no profit. When do they read the revelations? I ain't never seen as, as old as I am now, even when I was going to church back then. The last time I remember going to church, me and one of my siblings, the church got shot up. It's the last time I remember attending church. I wasn't scared of nothing. I was just sitting there. I don't know what the hell was happening, but the church got shot. I don't ever remember that preacher reading the whole Bible. I actually don't know no preacher that read revelations out of the Bible. The shit that's happening today, like everybody is in fear. At this point, a lot of these people that be preaching, T.D. Jakes, uh, what's that nigga who smell all the fucking time? T.D. Jakes. Um, what's his name? I'm, I don't feel like looking. But just know that when it comes to these uh, false prophets, these preachers and things of that nature, some of them are told to only preach certain things. In church they're not allowed to talk about what really happens but guess what words never change okay so if everybody is saying the same stuff can't not anybody lying y'all really think that the most high god is a physical person that's not how it works Okay, you're going to have to figure out who the Most High God is for yourself. Okay? For many people think the Most High God is you, your higher self. But that's another topic. I ain't going to get into it. We got red and reverse. Mm. Red. We got speaker. We got red. We got influencer. This came out quite a few times. If you are on a social media platform, and I'm going to say it one more time, I don't give a fuck how much money you make off this bitch, because this shit could be shut down any day and your ass would be homeless. I don't give a fuck who you are on this net, who making money, who ain't making money. If you aren't using your platform to speak about the most high, okay, you're not taking, you're not leading people from darkness, you're not uh, taking people out of darkness and leading them to light, showing them the way, showing them this is the way and this not the way. Well, go here, my child, or whatever the case may be, whatever the spirit realm looks like to you, you're the problem. Okay? You're the problem. If you're using just social media for chaos, confusion, gossip, you're the problem. Okay? It's what I'm picking up on. Let me pull this camera up so I'm not going to sit up. And keep doing this. Anywho, <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Mm. All right. But you are the infection. You are spreading disease. You are the one who is, um, you feel what I'm saying? Um, being pushing the world into shambles. Okay. Having. Our people out here constantly still being fucking lost sheep. We have heart disease, chronic inflammation, colon cancer, speaker, okay, and infection. All right. We got it's all a lie. Okay, lies. Uh, maybe spirit is showing me these addictions will cause you to, to have a lot of inflammation. Inflammation. But maybe it's showing me that once 
letting go of these demonic spirits that had a stronghold on you and had you not walking in your purpose, living in your purpose, caused you stagnation, fear, pain, and delays in your life. Um, once you let go of these things, whether that addiction could be one, once you release that, you're going to go through withdrawals. You may even experience that you have an illness. That same faith you had doing that drug or going through that addiction issue, keep that same faith. Okay, don't give up because, oh, you heard that you got something. You know how many people got something they still are living? A walking, living testimony, whether that was a mistake or whether they were set up or whatever the case may be or it was a lesson or what. But um, you're going to go through some type of withdrawals when it comes to whatever it is that you're going through. You might have a lot of inflammation as well. You feel what I'm saying when it comes when it comes to you releasing something, okay? Heart disease. I don't know if you smoke. I'm pretty sure throat cancer, lung cancer, okay? Chest pains. I'm getting the energy of once you release all this, your pain will go away completely. Eleven, eleven. These addictions were causing you a lot of inflammation, causing you a lot of pain physically. Okay, it's the energy that I'm picking up on. That's why you can't move forward as well, okay? Procrastination and delays are, you know, playing at an all-time high because you feel me like you some wrong. You sick, okay? And spirit could be urging you to go to a doctor, okay? Not only go to a doctor and heal, but try to heal yourself naturally, okay? Is what I'm picking up on. I'm also getting, we have, it's a lie. I'm also getting, maybe you're going to find out that you have something. And that's of Satan. They're going to tell you you got something that you don't have. So I'm getting the energy of this. If you go to the doctor and realize something is wrong with you, this is just an example. Do not take them results and run with it. Go to another doctor. Okay? Find another doctor. Ooh, here Find another doctor and get a second opinion. You feel me? Get you a second opinion before you just take whatever the fuck they give you. Okay? Get Always make sure you have a second opinion. Okay? And whatever you find out, don't panic. <laughs> Please don't panic. Okay? We got we all got one life to live. We all gonna have to get the fuck up out of here. We all got an expiration date. Just like we do, just like the expiration date on that milk. We got to go. Okay? By any means necessary. So try to do right with the life you got this one time. You don't get life again two, three, or four times, thirteen, thirteen. You don't get a duo. Okay, this is not double dutch. You feel what I'm saying? You jump and you fuck up. Oh, let me get a do-over. Let me go again. No, you don't get a do-over. You get life one time and it's precious. What you do with your body, what you do with your temple, what you do with your time, what you do with your energy, it's going to affect you down down the uh, line. Okay? So if you drunk for 20 years, you feel me? That shit going to affect you. So be careful. It's a temple. Okay? Do not get drunk. Okay? I don't know what people be thinking, but a lot of people don't understand. Everything needs to be done in moderation. Okay? Everything should be done in moderation. Period. Didn't I say something about Beyonce being on the horse? I'm feeling like the Bible is fulfilling itself. The scriptures are speaking. They coming right through them damn papers. Okay? I feel like this is the last chance. Last chance. This is the last time that we all have right now to get right. It says take care of your mental health. Take care of your emotional health. Your spiritual well-being. Okay? And do better. Okay? A lot of y'all focus on relationships and marriages at this present time. And we got bigger fish to fry. Like, I don't know what people are thinking about, but you got people that's young that's like, ready. I want to be, I want to be married right now. 
people living in bliss. I want to do this right now. I have to do this. I got to do it right now. I got to do this. I got to do that. Like moving too quick. Okay, and spirit is telling you to do better. First of all, before you can love somebody, just focus on you. Make sure your bag and your uh, account is full. Your plate is full. Make sure you got food, water, clothes, shelter. 15, 15 before you try to jump in a relationship and give somebody all your good years or the rest of your life. This is for young people, okay? If you rush rushing to get into shit, my advice, sit down, slow down, slow and steady. Okay, I wasn't taught. Nobody gave me the game. Nobody gave me no street knowledge, no no nothing when um I was younger. Okay? I didn't get that talk, that don't fuck, that put on the con, that this will happen, that you'll get STDs and you shouldn't have a child young and don't be fast and don't do this. No, I didn't get that. Okay? Practically, I grew myself up. The shit that I know, I taught me. Okay? So, with that being said... Nobody showed me the ropes or the way. Well, I'm here and I've been through hell and back. And I'm here to tell you, if you're young right now, under 30, stay that age. Okay? Because when life starts to fucking happen and life happens and it get the life in, life ain't shit to play with. It's a dangerous game. All right? It's it's, it's a dangerous game. So, I'm, like I said, if you're young, live your life. Don't rush to have kids. Don't sit up here and rush to be married, to be tied down just to have the ring because you in La La Land. It's the fact that it's a it's more of an illusion. It's it's for glitz and glam. It's for social media. Everything is done for the ground, for the net, for Facebook, for YouTube. Like, slow down, focus on you. Do what makes you happy. Okay? Um, don't rush to move in with someone. Don't be in a rush to let someone move in to, with you. A lot of people are being unalived at a fucking a, a high rate right now. Okay? And it's not just men. It's women, too, doing crazy shit. So it's not the time to be rushing to figure out, oh, let's be in love right now. Love ain't finna pay no bills. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes love don't stop. What's really coming, okay? Love is temporary. That person that you land next to might not even love you in five or ten years from now. That person that you land next to might want to relocate or remarry or decide they're not in love with you. I done fell out of love with you. You feel what I'm saying? And then boom, oh, you decide I want to escape or this person want to escape. Then this person reacts, boom, I'm finna kill you, bitch, a nigga. You ain't going no fucking well. Killing you, the kids, you, and everybody else. You don't want to be in no situation like that. Or in a situation where you jumped into some shit and a nigga beating the fuck out of you. Been there, done that. Meeting random strangers in the club. Been there, done that. Going to random people's house, I ain't fucking up. Been there, done that. Almost died quite a few times. Had a bunch of near-death experiences, experiences, but I ain't finna elaborate on that. Been there, done that. Laying up all day with a nigga. Not doing shit. You know, just chilling, smoking, thinking, oh, I'm young. This is cool. Until life started happening, I realized, damn, who going to take care of me? I got to have it. I'm a supportive bitch. I need to work. I need to do this. I need to do that. Life started to happen. Life humbles you. Life gives you experiences, shows you experiences, shows you what not to do, when not to do it. Don't go here. Don't go there. So a lot of y'all don't be listening to the elders and be finding y'all self in a, 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 a bind like you can't you in some shit you can't get out of because you didn't listen. You was quick to speak but slow. I mean, quick to um. You was you was quick to speak but slow to listen. Okay, and y'all don't understand that a lot of these people nineteen nineteen have had years of experiences on this earth. They've been through things. They've seen things. And y'all think, oh, couldn't be me. Oh, I would never. Okay, and a lot of y'all dis disrespect the elders. But let me tell you something. There is nothing new up under the sun. What y'all done, what everybody doing, history repeats itself. 